Hi everyone, we're here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We're gonna do a food review on Yak and Yeti, which in my circle seems to always get rave reviews. Let's see if that holds up. Uh, I'm here joined at this table to eat with Amy Krieger and Paul Krieger. They are from our DVC fan YouTube channel, great people. And of course, Denny, the effervescent Denny Sunderly from the Diz. Uh, also, a reminder that this and all the content we create is brought to you by Dreams Unlimited Travel. If you enjoy our content, please think about booking your next trip with Dreams Unlimited Travel. It doesn't cost you an extra dollar and you get a professional travel advocate on your side. Let's go eat. So we, uh, we just got through our appetizers, and uh, the appetizer that I shared actually with Amy was the ahi tuna nachos. Um, it is sushi grade ahi tuna, Asian slaw, crispy fried wontons, wasabi aioli, and sweet soy glaze for $19.99. Um, this is right up my alley, you know, I love raw fish, uh, you know, there were some comments around the table about the wasabi maybe being a little bit too spicy. Um, I will tell you that anything I say about spice should be avoided. I'll bite into a jalapeno and be perfectly fine, so that's not an issue for me, but I felt like the wasabi and the soy glaze sort of complemented each other, so the soy glaze sort of milded. The, the, the wasabi, but truth be told, I would absolutely just tear up a plate of those nachos all by myself. Uh, that could be my entree, and I would love every second of it. Um, we also had some pot stickers that others will talk about. They were okay, they're pot stickers to me, uh, but the egg rolls were also super good. Um, the egg rolls I felt had a lot of substance. Normally with an egg roll you can get like some, some filler and stuff in there, but they were pork egg rolls, they had a lot going on inside, and they came with a like a plum duck sauce almost as it's dipping, and I thought it was super excellent. So um, two out of three for me, and I will definitely be getting those nachos again. So I also had the nachos with Paul, the ahi tuna nachos, and it is the one dish that I just keep like coming back to and just like picking at. It was just a beautiful presentation. There was a lot of vegetables. The wasabi, wasabi's not really my thing, but it was done really well. It wasn't too, too spicy. And it was just kind of, when it was mixed with all the other flavors, it wasn't overpowering. And the sushi uh, grade ahi tuna, I was never a big ahi tuna person until I went to Hawaii and Alani, and I just kind of fell in love with it. And it was, it was excellent. It was a really good appetizer, and for the price, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, it was like $19.99, big plate, you could easily share it with four people. I also tried the egg rolls, they were really good. Paul always makes fun of me because I describe food as hot, like, oh, I really liked it, it was nice and hot, because uh, my grandfather was like that. But that's really important to me, like, I really want, like, hot, fresh food, and I really felt that those egg rolls were hot, they were crispy. The sauce was really good. Um, everything about them was really good. The wontons, like Paul said, they were fine. They they were pretty basic to me. You can get them steamed or you can get them pan seared. Uh, the pan seared, I think, would be a little bit better. It had a little bit of like a crispness to it. And the sauce on that was really good. I, I can't remember if it was like a plum sauce, but everything that we had, the appetizers were all very, really good. All right, so appetizers. Appetizers are super important. Um, Sometimes you can make it a meal out of just the appetizers alone. So we did not, um, we did not mince words when <laughs> we made good choices. Is what I'm trying to say with the appetizers. Like everyone else has said, we got the pet stickers, we got the egg rolls, and we got the ahi tuna nachos. If you are a sauce person, you are going to like these appetizers. To me, the appetizers were 
good, really good, but the sauces that they were paired with from the wasabi aioli on the nachos to um, the, the Thai chili plum sauce that came with the egg rolls and the soy lime dipping sauce that came with the pot stickers, it just kind of elevated each dish, um, especially the sweet Thai chili sauce. It was just, there were such nice layers to that sauce. It had a little kick. It was mostly sweet. It, it was just very, very nice. And I enjoyed, I gotta say, I enjoyed the wasabi aioli. It had heat without being overpowering. Uh, and the, so the tortilla chips for the nachos were, were fried wonton chips. So they were light and crisp and just really nice. Um, I liked the tuna. Again, y'all know I'm not like the tuna eater, the <laughs> ahi tuna sushi grade fish eater, but I liked what I had there. The pot stickers are super approachable, so if you have someone in your traveling party that just needs something that they recognize, that's going to be good for them. They were well done. And those egg rolls were really nice. If you love a good perfectly fried egg roll, you're going to be really happy with this. Okay, so I am always a fan of the egg rolls here, but I'm going to judge this as this one, like not worrying about what I've had previously. And they're fantastic. Like Amy said, I am a stickler with hot food. And they came out hot and crisp, almost like you could tell they were fried in new oil and not something that sat there. I get very icked out by meat, and even though they're pork egg rolls, there's nothing in there that I am suspect of. I bite right into it and it's delicious. And that chili plum dipping sauce, which I thought was duck sauce, Amy told me, no, it's chili plum sauce. It's just delicious. The whole thing, I could, I told them I could do like a fat guy bender and just come here and order egg rolls for a bunch of people that don't really exist and just go with them. So I like that. I think they're savory, delicious, crispy, nice. Try the egg rolls. Uh, then we did try the pot stickers. I like them. Again, there's nothing special about them. I actually think they're the same ones you get from China in Epcot. They, I think they are. Same exact ones. So they're good. I do not do seafood, so I didn't try the ahi tuna, but I tasted the chip. It's a pretty substantial chip that's under there, and I didn't get any wasabi on mine, but I like this place for the appetizers right now. We are moving on to entrees now. Um, for my entree, I ended up getting the chicken tikka masala. So that is boneless chicken marinated in yogurt and freshly ground herbs, cooked in a traditional masala sauce with jasmine rice and garlic naan. That's $25.99. Um, again, I like spice. So uh, tikka masala, uh, very curry-like um, you know, sauce that the chicken is in. Um, so this was right up my alley. If you've been to like Sanaa uh, or any of the restaurants over at Animal Kingdom Lodge uh, and like all of the different spices and the different flavors that are going on in those foods, you're gonna love this dish. Um, the naan was perfect. Rice is rice. Um, so it, it was it was very good and, and I think for the price you're getting a good value as well. So um, also I tried some of the other options that we had on the table. Um, we had some sweet and sour chicken. That was great. I don't think you can go wrong if you want sort of that safe option here. The, the sweet and sour chicken is definitely your safe bet. Um, you know, it's, it's the tried and true sweet and sour chicken. It had some pineapple in it that was super good. Um, we had some lobster noodles that uh, I don't know that they should use the word lobster in those um, all that much. But overall, the surprise dish on the table um, were the lettuce wraps. The lettuce wraps were super good. Uh, the chicken was moist. I think it's is it chicken or pork. Is it chicken? Yeah, it's chicken. chicken. 
uh, the chicken uh, was super moist even though it looks a little bit dry um, and the sauce was amazing um, it came with some carrot and some I don't know what that other thing was bean sprouts as well um, and so that was definitely the surprise choice but very happy overall with my entree as Amy would said it's nice and hot so uh, not, not spice-wise, though, but um, going back to the curry just one last time, I would say, um, or the tikka masala, um, if, you, if you shy away from spicy things, I think we all agreed, again, don't judge me for spice 100%, let others talk to that, um, because I'll eat anything with spice, but I think it's an accessible spice. It wasn't overwhelming, it's what you would expect from like a curry or a dish like that, but it wasn't, you know, it wasn't super bad. So I think it's an accessible option for some people that maybe want a little bit of spice, um, but don't handle it too, too well. But all in all, some great entrees. So I had the lobster garlic noodles, and they were $35, $34.99. And it says that it comes with lobster shrimp, scallops, baby spinach, red peppers, shiitake mushrooms, and then a zesty garlic stir-fry sauce. I will say the noodles were good, the sauce was good, there was good vegetables, like the mushrooms and the peppers were really good. Uh, there was some shrimp and scallops, they were cooked pretty decently for a regular table service restaurant. But the lobster, like I have a hard time that they call it lobster, it's like the feature of the, of the dish, because it was more like it looked like like ground up little chunks of like langostino, which isn't really just the best the best types of lobster. I'm a little spoiled by going to the boathouse. They had a lobster pasta that had these giant like claws in it. But I know this isn't a isn't a signature restaurant. But still, I, maybe calling it seafood pasta would be a little more accurate. But it wasn't bad. It wasn't my favorite dish of the whole you know table. Denny got the, the lettuce wraps. I thought that they were one of the best flavored dishes as far as what we had um, as, as an entree. It's on the shareable menu, but the flavor was really good. Uh, the chicken, the sauce, it was like a, a, I can't remember the type of sauce it was. I looked it up like a second ago too. But all in all, and then the cilantro in there, there is a lot of cilantro in a lot of these dishes. So if you're the type of person that cilantro tastes like soap, you might want to talk to the server just to see where the cilantro is because there was cilantro in my pasta. There was some in the ahi tuna stuff. I love the taste of cilantro. I could just eat the leaves. So this was a really good flavor palette for me. Paul's dish, the tiki masala, the curry, it was really good. I'm very sensitive to spicy foods. I have kind of a sensitive stomach. I didn't think it was too spicy. It was a little bit of like an after flavor burn like on my tongue. But all in all, it was a very good flavor. Uh, reminded me a lot of Sanaa, which is one of my favorite places to eat on property. So really like that dish, really like the bread stuff that came with it. And then uh, the sweet and sour chicken, it was kind of basic for me. I know that Panda really likes that dish. Uh, the chicken is a good quality, but all in all, it's just not my, it's just not my sauce. It's just not my thing. But if you like sweet and sour chicken, uh, normally, I would say that that's a very good, safe bet. The whole menu here um, is it has a lot of like accessible items, but there's also some like little more adventurous stuff. And the other thing that I really like about this restaurant is with Disney having such pared down menus right now, especially since reopening, a lot of the menus are very small. Uh, this place has a very large, very full menu with a lot of options. So lots of really good things to try here. This is the first time in my life that I've ever had tikka masala. It's not the first time I've ever had curry necessarily, but the first time technically I've had tikka masala. I liked it. It is. It has a lovely heat that stays with you. It's not too horribly offensive. It's not too in your face. It just that warm, that warmth stays in your mouth. So if you are a curry fan or a tikka masala fan, that might be your jam. Um, the seafood pasta that Amy ordered, it was nice. Was it a standout? I wouldn't put it in the standout category. And at $34 a pop, that is pricey for pasta. That's that's a that's a little that's a bit much for me personally. That's that's highway robbery. Um, sweet and sour chicken that Panda ordered, very nice. Nice chunks of, of, of white meat, 
Um, if you're used to like a sweet and sour chicken at home, so you're looking for something that's super approachable and familiar to you, that's gonna be a nice option for you. I never personally gravitate towards sweet and sour chicken. I never have my entire life. My family ordering from our little Chinese food place in, uh, in Herndon, Virginia. I, we, we just never got the sweet and sour chicken. That being said, it was nice. But I am going to <laughs> toot my own horn. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Those lettuce cups, lovely. The presentation when they came to the table, the perfectly formed cups of fresh, crisp, cool lettuce. If you're someone who likes building your own things, like, uh, you know, we can we can do that at Chipotle, right? The kids, there's a kids meal where you build your own uh, meal. What, whatever you, if that's your vibe and your aesthetic, as as everyone else has said, the the minced chicken breast was lovely and moist. Forgive us, Rhino. I know we've used that word several times tonight. Um, there were fresh bean sprouts going on and julienne carrots. The Saigon hoisin sauce, fantastic. Again, another sauce that Yak and Yeti is, is hitting out of the park. And yes, there, as Amy mentioned, there was a, a nice fresh bunch of cilantro. You didn't have to put the cilantro in your lettuce cup if you didn't want to, but if you did, you could put gobs of it in. It's always yummy to bite in. I love just the freshness of cilantro. Here's the one ding I will give the lettuce cups. While they are shareable, and meant for two people. They are also $18.99. There's like a chicken breast and a half, maybe two chicken breasts of minced chicken in that cup. It was like the cup that kept on giving, but it was $18.99. So uh, I gotta ding them for that. That's too expensive for that dish. No matter how fresh and lovely and cute those lettuce cups are, just a little bit too pricey. That being said, I do recommend the dish. Okay, so I did order the sweet and sour chicken. I am a fan of that dish anywhere. And I think the Yak and Yeti, why does that sound like a Yeti with a hairball? A Yak and Yeti? A Yak and Yeti? Yak and <laughs> it's Yak and. I know, but it sounds like that. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, it's the epitome quintessential sweet and sour chicken. It is the, I, I took a picture for you to see the inside of it. It is just good white meat chicken. I love the sauce. They gave us jasmine rice. I think we could have gotten brown rice and paid a little more for fried rice. We picked the jasmine rice, loved it. It goes good with the sweet and sour sauce. Uh, I did taste those lettuce wraps. They were great. They, uh, the chicken did look dry to me at first. I was like, that doesn't look appetizing at all. Uh, I don't know why I'm on a yakking thing, but that's what it looked like to me. I have four cats at home. No, it's delicious. And yeah, it was moist, delicious. Uh, it did taste, it ta was there ginger in there? That's what I tasted, was like a ginger in the chicken? Yes. Oh, okay. Sure. A little gingery? Sure. We don't know, we're just saying, yeah. Uh, so yeah, a little savory, and the sauce that came with it, I forgot what that was. They are batting a thousand with their sauces. Oh yeah, and ginger. It is a ginger, okay, hey, good. Good job, good, good job. And that's, thank you. And the tikka, is it tikka masala? Not tiki room. Tika. Tika masala. Tika. I love curry, and that is not technically a, like, maybe it's like a curry-like. I thought the spice, like Paul said, was it was there, accessible. Nobody would say, I don't think it's too spicy. But Disney sometimes shies away from any spice. Everything is like, for the rest, you know, it's good for the world because it's not spicy. This was, had a little bit of spice, and they didn't shy away from it too much. I like that. I enjoyed the, again, like I tell you, I like the quality of the meat that's in everything. I did not try the seafood extravaganza that wasn't really an extravaganza. Our fortune cookies first before we tell you about our dessert. Yep. Oh. Do not fear failure. That'll preach. I, I hope on. I hope this Come video on. works out. <laughs> Do not fear. It's okay, but don't fear the failure. Okay. And, uh, I, I fear it. All right, here we go. Um, oh, I've got some good lucky numbers there. Let's see. Dare to dream, hope, believe, seek, feel, find, and love. 
I think we've that got covers. we we. These are strong. That covers everything. I know. Right? Yeah, that's, like, that's exactly right. That's like everything dare, you need in a, dare in a fortune. Dare to do all the things. Yeah. All right. All right. I have care and attention to the key relationships in your life oh. will pay off. Goodness, this is a four-part series here. <laughs> Better start paying attention. <laughs> all right. Curiosity kills boredom. Nothing can cure kill. Sorry, nothing can kill curiosity. I feel like that's not Amy, really I'm a sorry. fortune. That's too deep. You, you got that. Yeah. It is. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna go play these numbers and see if I win any. Oh, and lottery. you have to eat a piece you of your cookie for it to be real. Yeah. We just making up. I don't know if I want this pocket. fortune. We had dessert. Um, we didn't just leave off at entrees because we're smarter than that. Um, we uh, we chose. I don't. I don't think that we could have chosen two better desserts. No, no. They were off. Yeah. We did the mango pie. Anybody know how much it costs? No. Uh, money. No, oh, money, sure. money. Money. Amy will gro uh, Amy's going to grab Amy the cost. We so we got it. the mango pie and we got the um, fried wontons. So let's start with the mango pie. What what's the price there? So Amy? it was 11.99, so okay. it was like 12 bucks. Ooh. Shortbread cookie crust, whipped topping, raspberry sauce. It was like it was kind of like key lime pie-ish meets cheesecake. It was very very good. Um, and it was just a little bit tart, and it was served with strawberries, and I really like strawberries, but it all went together really nicely. Yeah. What'd you think? Yeah, you've definitely got to get, make sure you get a bite with, with each of the different things on the plate, different sauces, um, the mango, I think there was, was there a little strawberry on mm -hmm. the plate too? Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, but yeah, I'm a big key lime fan as it is, and so this was, you know, again, not, not as tart as a key lime pie, mm -hmm. nice mild taste with the mango. I could definitely tear up some more of that anytime. So. Yeah, this is the first time I had had the mango pie, and I know that the mango pie version at the Yak and Yeti Local Foods Cafe, the quick service, uh, counter service right outside of the restaurant has a cult following. People love the mango pie. And so that's in circular form, what you get from the quick service. This was a nice, generous slice of pie. It was lovely. I got to say, I wish it was a little bit more tart, but I think that's just me wanting it to be a key lime pie. It's not a key lime pie, it's a mango pie. And it was lovely for what it was, it really was. It was, it was fun to try that, that new dessert. Until today, I didn't know a mango pie existed. I didn't know there was a cult of mango pie people outside, as Denny said. Uh, it was delicious. If you said mango cheesecake, I would have been on board, and it was really like, yeah, I saw a little bit of heaven. That was good. A little but slice of heaven. But your favorite. No, you know, no. Getting to, we'll start, we'll start the wontons now. Oh, yeah. Your favorite. That, yeah, the, that's my favorite. That was the preface, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought he meant the mango. No, he was throwing it to, yeah. Okay. Those are my favorites. Those, <laughs> that, that honey vanilla <laughs> sauce with the ice cream and the pineapple, was it cream yeah. cheese in the wonton? Yeah. Yep. I can't even explain it. I, it's sweet. It's, it's a little tart. It's delicious. You tell. Me. Amy, tell me. can you give us the official? Uh, so dates? it was twelve ninety nine, and skewers of fresh pineapple, cream cheese wontons, vanilla ice cream, honey vanilla drizzle. Although it really wasn't drizzled, it was like the whole bottom <laughs> of swimming. the plate. Yeah, it was like swimming, swimming and tripping. and it was this, that sauce was so good. Uh, I thought this was a very fun. They were like on little skewers. There were strawberries. There was some other. Other something else other than strawberries, I, I can't. Danny remember. was flinging pieces of it across the table. <laughs> yes, I was. Well, I think it was mango. Yeah. Was it mango? I yeah, I think so. so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a oh, lot no, of no, 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 chunks of pineapple on the skewer. Oh, that's oh, pineapple. Yes. That's okay. grilled pineapple. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. You're yeah. right. So it was pineapple on the skewer, and everything just like the flavors were really good. It was just a perfect, um, like the wontons. They're mm -hmm. maybe fried first, right? Mm -hmm. And and, mm -hmm. and just had like a little bit like warmth to them. It was very good. I, it was the best dessert um, I've had in a really long time, actually. Yeah, we were we were concerned heading into dessert, I think, as to whether or not we had room. But I, it was definitely the perfect size portion, shareable. Although yeah. by the end of it, I don't think we wanted to share. Um, but the honey vanilla drizzle, I will I will be dreaming of that as I fall asleep tonight and also tomorrow morning, uh, because Panda was talking about some waffles. Oh, no, no, the or, honey right, the honey vanilla sauce. I, if you put it on waffles with a sliced banana, mm -hmm. we have to get the recipe for or that sauce. Grapes. 
You can do it. Come on, that sauce. You could put oh, that. You could put that sauce on a filet mignon, and it would be good. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Listen, my family has come to Yak and Yeti just for those fried wontons before. Like the park is closing, and it's the last, you know, five minutes, and they want to, they want to seat a few more tables. Do they this? don't mind that. Uh huh. So we asked. We said, if we just wanted the fried wonton dessert, would that be okay? And they're like, sure, come on in. <laughs> and we did, and it was amazing. And and. and Another good choice that do I've made in my life. Um, no, they do not. Mm -mm. Missed opportunity. No, local foods cafe does not sell. They could have a, a wonton booth just for that. Yeah, I mean those are so good. And you think, ooh, cream cheese stuffed? Yes, you want. I know them. it doesn't sound right on the paper. It doesn't. It doesn't sound right, but it's oh so good. That is going to do it for this food review. Amy, Paul, Danny, thank you so much. We have to do this again. Thank you guys also. We will see you again. Oh, but wait, there's more. We did want to throw in a shout out to our server, Hector, who was lovely. Just on top of it and the the plate stacking game he has going on is unparalleled. Um, he cleared that table in one fail swoop, but he was so attentive. He, uh, he was just really, really kind. Yep. So shout out to Hector. Thank you so much Thank for you your Hector. service.